the point guard. And that one's good. Beverly. And Beverly has wonderful moves and has a great stroke from downtown. Gotta love how he rises up with plenty of confidence. Teague with the ball. Screen by Jefferson. Jumper off the screen. It's good. I mean, look, he's just an instinctive guy. Helping his teammates generate some offense comes naturally there. And Beverly kicks to Anderson. Ellis against Harden. Over in the corner, Beverly. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Beverly's got a couple of threes now in the first for Houston. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. Ellis, the pass to T. It's rebounded by Houston. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Here's Harden. Soft touch off the glass. Oh, man, I really enjoy seeing Harden connect from the interior, showing he's more than just a perimeter scorer. George sets a screen for T. Shot from free throw range. That doesn't go in either for T. Houston's gone two or two from three point range here in the first quarter. Beverly wide open. Misses the three. For Indiana, they've gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Ellis outside. Addition out to T. to shoot this one for three that doesn't go in either for T for Houston they've gone three of four from the field to start out the game over in the corner Beverly Anderson with the screen for Beverly he dishes it to Anderson and the baseline jumper no good Indiana off to a slow start six-point game and we see the growth of the three-point shooting big man, the stretch four, if you will. Ryan Anderson was at the forefront, it seems, of that movement. Yeah, especially at his volume of threes. He's never been just a secondary floor spacer. He's a go-to scoring threat with his outside shooting. And Chris, despite his flaws, most would agree that Harden is the clear-cut best shooting guard in the game now. Well, look, let's not beat around the bush. What we're saying is his scoring makes up for his defense or lack thereof. Now, Harden does bring other skills to the table that he doesn't get enough credit for. He's an incredibly strong rebounder at the two spot, and his playmaking is levels beyond other shooting guards. He throw good, James Harden. What makes Harden so special is his explosiveness. This guy can just, just turn it on whenever he wants to on offense. And both free throws good for James Harden. All you need is just one game of watching James Harden, and it's easy to see why he's such a gifted scorer. He has no problem getting around players and into the teeth of the defense. Pretty much impossible to stay in front of him at all times. That's one he knows he should have drained. A three from Anderson. He can't hit that time. And Indiana will come the other way. And Young kicks to George. to get back on track and the Pacers can't get it to go and Chris as we know with Harden it's only a prayer to stay in front of this guy so crafty so good dead eye shooter difficult to defend and it's funny to think that when he came into the league from ASU Harden was known mostly for his shooting he has worked on his handles now he has the ability to drive that's what's pushed him into elite player status so the Pacers call timeout their first of the game. Yeah, it's got to be concerned with all the missed shots here. And every team goes through cold streaks. You just got to figure out a way to stay productive. Uh, the other angle is up to their aggressiveness on drives. They have to create the contact, maybe live at the free throw line for a while. Houston, a whole new five on the floor. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, there's the pick. 
Cole from the top of the key. And it's Nene with the rebound. Rockets leading by 10. Here's Brewer. And out of bounds as the Pacers gain possession. Indiana's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Young with the ball. Guarded now by Michael Beasley. 